Now, I avoided VCV rack for a while uh, because I did prefer the uh, voltage modulator program better. But I'm starting to actually begin to enjoy this. So we're just going to create a basic patch with the VCV so you can uh, check it out for yourself. Uh, so the first thing, we have the whole little Euro rack set up. Um, all you have to do is just right click and we can uh, pick uh, from a, a list of things. Uh, we can just go like this. So we have all of all of this here to choose from. Uh, I download all the black ones I downloaded. They're free on the website. So if you go to the VCV rack website, you can just uh, search for which ones you want. Um, there's tons of free ones. And then uh, once you like subscribe or add, you can you have to exit out of the program and then reopen it and it should pop up in here. So the first thing we're going to do is since there's a lot of stuff we could actually search. So if we put in MIDI, all the MIDI stuff is here. So we want um, MIDI to control voltage. So click on this one. Uh, next, we're going to do an oscillator. So here's a voltage control oscillator right here. Next, we're going to do a voltage control amplifier. Then we're going to do a envelope, ADSR. Then we're going to go into a filter. So um, VCF, voltage control filter. And then we're going to go into a... Ah, oh, man. Another VCA. Then we're going to go into a scope. And then finally, we're going to go to an out uh, audio 8. Down here, we're going to add an LFO. And then a reverb. Reverb. And then a delay. DEL delay. Okay, this should be everything that we need whoops that we need so all you have to do is just click and drag to move them over this is okay for the for the most part okay so the first thing that we need to do is make sure that our audio is working so we can go here and select our driver i'm just going to click direct sound and where it says no device i'm going to put speakers headphone real tech real high definition real tech high definition audio one too. It's just the stock things for Windows. So to check to see if our audio is working, I would like to take the sign from here. All you have to do is just click and drag and plug it into right here. Okay, we have uh, sound. So now um, if we take this uh, one voltage octave pitch output and put it into right here, this is going to give us... Um, access to keys with our keyboard but first we need to make sure that it's actually plugged in so um click on the no device and then your if your thing is, was already plugged in it should pop up mine's mpk mini there we go so if we plug this in the we have different keys um uh, but it it's uh this thing's stuck on and this is where the envelope comes into play so we want to take the gate here and plug it into the gate of our envelope from our envelope we want to take this right here and plug it into right here so if we take say a saw and plug it into the in of our voltage control amplifier um and then out into our audio, we have um, sound now. Now you can shape your envelope by taking these right here. And it's cool that it shows you everything. So here's a longer one, longer attack, short attack. Sustain. Release. 
Um, let's just keep these right here. And you can double click on on what um, if you want it back to factory settings on here. <clears throat> now we can actually take our um, our sine wave and run it through a filter. So if we take this, we could put it into the in, and then we can take a low pass filter and then just bring it straight back over here. See how it's, it cuts it off. Now we have access uh, to the filter. There's high pass and low pass filter on here. Uh, we could actually incorporate our LFO now if we wanted to. We can take this, our low pass filter, and put it into the in of our second VCA and bring it to the out. So it's working, but we can take the sine wave of the LFO and put it into here. Now we have that control in LFO. Uh, if we take this off, actually we can mess with the frequency of this. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Um, so we could actually plug in our reverb now. So let's take this and put it into, we actually don't even need this VCA if we don't want to, but since it's already plugged in, we could do this. So go to the left end. Now, if you want to take a second one. You can right click and then just choose new cable. We'll just use two purples. And then for the outs, you can just go straight into here. Let's take the wetness down, or is it this? It's kind of loud. Uh, let's take the right as well, and we can put it in here, and that will be stereo. There's a reverb. Uh, we could actually put the delay into it now. Um, let's take this off. I think we could do to the in. Then we can take the mix and put it into here. Yep. So we got the delay going. Let's turn it down a bit. We can also take a second one put in here. Now it's stereo, and then we can also take this mix, get another chord, and plug it into the in of our scope. Now it shows this. Now I notice how it's going pretty fast. So you can take the time and bring it down about to right here. Now we have access to see the uh, what what it's actually doing, what it looks like on the oscilloscope. Uh, so this is just a very basic patch that you can create uh, with the VCV rack. I might do um, some more advanced stuff with this uh, later on. Um, but if you guys are interested in this, uh, it's absolutely free. So uh, have at it.